Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Taylor 2 Hygienist in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hi, everybody. Tom Viola with Pharmacology Declassified. We get another Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. Well, this edition is all about selenium and quaternary ammonium compounds in dentistry. Well, I've been working with uh, hygienists for lots of years now, and uh, having that privilege has offered me an opportunity to learn a lot about what you do every day uh, in your course of practice. And I know hygienists spend a significant amount of time making sure that the services that they treat are smooth after treatment. Why? Because we all know that rough surfaces lead to reinfection and delay and prevent healing. Bacteria love those edges, rough edges, margins, you know. Now, we've often used the term permanent restoration in dentistry, but we really know that there's more to the story than that. They're not really permanent. We know that permanent restorations have rough spots as well. We call them margins. Uh, On the edge of the restoration where the prosthetic material ends and the natural tooth begins. So restorations, just by that very fact, have an expected lifespan, which means at some point they're known to fail for a variety of reasons, most of which are due to their margins. But restorations can, uh, regardless of their size, can be susceptible to secondary decay. But they're also susceptible to things like marginal leaks, uh, shrinking of the restorative material itself, and numerous other factors that can cause failure. Okay, so we know that permanent restorations really aren't very permanent. Okay, so essentially anything on the teeth with a margin or a difficult to clean edge creates a high risk site that wasn't present there in the natural tooth. Even microscopic ridges and gaps are enough for bacteria to grab onto. Okay, so what's the solution? How can we make permanent restorations really permanent? Well, there's two actually in this industry. One is called uh, the glass ionomer. Okay, now I'm sure you know glass ionomers uh, release fluoride and other particles and chemically interact with the teeth. Uh, That means they're preventative in nature and offer some benefit not just to the restoration, but the surrounding tooth. The other success story are the resin restorative materials, okay? Here we've added an antimicrobial component to standard resin material. Uh, One type of product uses quaternary ammonium compounds, and the other one uses selenium. Okay, in either case, the ideal is the same, all right? We're going to reduce or prevent bacterial growth on the surface of and at the margins of these materials. Now, the addition of these components into the materials during manufacturing allows an equal distribution of the ingredient throughout the resin. That way, if the material chips or fails, fractures, even the newly exposed edge or now newly created margin will be protected. Also, including the ingredient in this way ensures that it doesn't leach out or get weaker over time. Elevate, our friends at Elevate Oral Care, have partnered with Salen Bio to create the Dentist Shield product line. This includes a pit and fissure sealant, a primer, and something containing Celdox, a patented selenium-based additive. Now, since Celdox is incorporated into the material and acts like a catalyst, it never needs recharging like the fluoride you find in glass ionomer materials. And it works for the life of the restoration. So, new and exciting chemistry, you know me, I'm the chemistry buff, uh, means that we're doing uh, good things to make our restorations more permanent than ever. Well, my friends, this is another episode of uh, Pharmacology Fast Facts. This is Tom Viola. Be well. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tomviola.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Floramax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Facts.